Today we're going to look at an Iceco VL45 portable refrigerator that's used for overlanding off-grid situations. It'll run on a 110 volt AC current or it'll run on a 12 volt battery. Check this out, it's going to be fun. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in ham radio, but also in overlanding gear. This is an off-grid gear type of review. So Iceco sent me this refrigerator. They're like, hey, we want to send you one of these. Will you do a video about it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm always good, always interested in hearing about new overlanding type gear. So we're going to take a look at this, this today. We're at winter field day right now, and I've had this running on the PO4 PO4 power battery, that's it. <laughs> PO4 power battery from Gigaparts, the 50 amp hour right now. And of course, it's not even, it's not, it, it's really cold outside, so the refrigerator doesn't have to do much power. But here, just recently, the sun's come up. It's gotten up to about mid, 50, mid to high 50s. So the refrigerator finally kicked on because it was 20 degrees this morning. Of course, it didn't need to run. But now there's about 55 or so degrees outside. The refrigerator's running, keeping everything at about 39 degrees, which is where I have it set. And it's doing a fantastic job. Let's get, get a tour of a uh, look through this refrigerator real quick. All right, so once again, this is the 50 amp hour LifePo 4 battery from Gigaparts. You can get a 5% discount on these batteries. This one, the 24 and the 12 amp hour, all with the coupon code that they give my viewers and my store. Uh, check the link in the description below for that. But you can see right here, it's reading at 83%. This battery has been running this refrigerator for about 30 hours, maybe with no solar or anything connected to it. Now, again, it was really cold overnight last night. It didn't really have to run. It's only been running for probably, it ran for several hours yesterday. It's probably been running for about two hours today so far, but this battery is doing a great job. Obviously, it's a 50 amp hour and it shouldn't have any problems running it. Hey Jason, what volume software that battery runs? It's called uh, Not Your Business. <clears throat> so here is the refrigerator. Here's a little chart here that they've got that tells you what kind of food types. Now the sun, sun's really bright behind me. Some specifics about the Iceco refrigerator. It's a VL45 GSN. It's a protective classification of electric shock is one. Rated voltage is 120 to one, 110 to 120, 60 hertz frequency. Voltage for DC is 12 and 24. Rated current for AC is 1.1 to 0.65 amps, and rated current for DC is 7.5 to 3.7 amps. So the most it's, most it's going to draw is 7.5 amps. And of course, when it gets cooled down, that's when you first plug it in. When it gets cooled down, it works much better. It's got two baskets in it. This one here, it's got these cool handles on it. Just like that. Got some stakes there from a local farm here in North Texas. This basket here. It's much taller. <laughs> I've got my cord down in there. I haven't taken that out yet. So you can plug it into AC power if you want. But there's the uh, contents of it. Put that back in there. It's got these LED lights, which are really handy to have at nighttime. Nice seal on it right there. Like those latches, which is there. What I really should do is get a weight on it, because I don't know what the thing weighs. It's got food in it right now, so it weighs more than normal. Get a shot here of this screen. Now, it's really bright out right now, and you can't see it, but it says 39 degrees. So you can set your battery. It's got battery protection built into it, which is really cool. So it will, if your battery comes, gets too low, it just shuts itself off. Now, that's dangerous for food, but at least it's not going to kill your battery. So you've got low low high, mid, and low for battery protection. You can turn the fridge off and on here, so you can leave it plugged in and turn it off. My other fridge that I've had, my uh, my Snowmaster fridge that I've put in several videos, once you plug the Snowmaster in, it's on. There is no on-off button. So that's kind of a nifty, different thing to have there. That way I can just leave it plugged in and turn it off and on as I want to. I can set the max and minimum temperature here with the compressor speed, and of course it tells me if it's running, and it tells me what the readout is there. So this is a really great, tool to have for something being off-grid. <clears throat> Here's the manual for it. Official at IceCoFreezer.com. We'll share a link in the description below. You guys can check that out. So once again, thanks to IceCo for sending me this refrigerator. I will feature it in several other videos. 
probably do a couple of TikTok videos about it as well. And uh, I'm going to record a video now for my brand new off-grid gear review channel. So if you don't know what that is, or you haven't seen that yet, check the description below. Uh, what refrigerator do you use? Do you use an off-grid refrigerator? Something that runs, I, I say off-grid, I would say anything that runs on 12 volts that you can plug into a charge controller or a solar panel is off-grid. So this thing has been completely independently run since we've been here two days ago. And I just plugged it in yesterday, but I've had it here for two days. And it's required no AC power generator or shore power at all. It's run all on 12 volt battery power and it's kept all our stuff really nice and cold. What do you use when you're off grid, when you're camping, off roading, and overlanding? And uh, put, uh, put a comment below, let me know what that is. Thank you for watching.